Hey you guys, so I was feeling really creative and I really wasn't sure what to film. So I kind of just came up with this green smoky eye and I picked up MAC Boom Boom Room. Just everything. It just gives me life. It's just... I used it in this tutorial so I hope you guys like it. Um, I just... I just I can't it's actually a dazzle shadow so I'm not sure if it's limited edition but you guys should definitely go pick it up it's gorgeous like, like thank you lord like it's just so pretty and I'm gonna stop talking about it right now but anyways yeah so like this video if you guys have mac boom boom room as well and what looks you've used it for you guys can tweet me and uh, send me pictures if you recreate this look all my links will be down below in the description and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey you guys, so I already applied my base and set a similar color to my skin tone. I just used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot or Soft Okra Paint Pot and I used uh, Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream uh, to set it because I'm, right, I'm tan right now so that's the color closest to my skin. So now I'm taking Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. And it's just a little darker than um, Beaches and Cream. And I'm taking it on a Morphe E27 brush. And I'm just going to put it in my crease. And this is going to act as a transition color. Because the eyeshadow that's going to be on the eyelid is going to be super heavy. So this is just going to balance it out. Okay, now we're going to take Unexpected by Makeup Geek looks like this. It's just a really purpley eyeshadow and I'm going to be taking it on a Morphe 411 and this is going to go in our crease but very precisely. You don't want to go past your crease. You want to really stay in your crease and if you don't have a crease this is a great brush and a great eyeshadow to use to define your crease and essentially make a crease if you don't have one. Just make sure to keep blending and blending because this is a smoky eye so we don't want to have any harsh lines. So. Just blend. Now that we have that color down, I'm going to take Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. I think I'm going to be using all Makeup Geek eyeshadows because they're all my Z palette and I don't want to grab another palette. So, yeah. So Coco Bear looks like this and this is going to go in our crease but ever so lightly because we don't want it to be too harsh. So. We're actually going to be taking it on the same brush we used for Unexpected and as a trick, instead of tapping off all the excess, I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to dab whatever was on the brush so then the color isn't so harsh. So I'm just going to apply this right here where we put the Unexpected and almost carve out my crease even more. Now taking a Morphe E27, I'm just going to blend that out. Now for the major smoky eye, um, I'm going to be taking Envy by Makeup Geek. This emerald green eyeshadow and it's not a foiled eyeshadow so it's not super pigmented but it's just it's so gorgeous so I'm going to be taking it on my elf eyeshadow brush so I applied some Makeup Forever Mist and Fix uh, this is just the tiny version but you can get the bigger version but anyways I applied it on my eyeshadow brush just so that the envious color from Makeup Geek is more true to itself and really vibrant so it's not such a dull green kind of look and you guys want to apply this super carefully. Basically, you don't want to pass your crease. So we're just going to put it on the eyelid. 
you could totally wing this out, but I'm going to keep this at a rounder shape right now. And make sure to pack your eyeshadow on instead of sweeping it so then there's no fallout. So I barely have any fallout right now. I already applied concealer, but we can clean that up later. So now that we have this really dark green color on our eyelids, I'm just going to blend out the crease and the harsh line between it with my E27 and blend that out. You could even pick up some more eyeshadow, but right now I just want to blend that out so it's not harsh. So now I'm going to take Unexpected and just keep blending that out. So now to make this smoky eye even pop out more, I'm going to be taking my Morphe G15. I'm going to be taking this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the color Mermaid and just going to make the eyeshadow pop even more and we're just gonna apply this to the center of the eyelid and make sure to dab it because we don't want this to have as much fallout once again I'm just gonna blend out that harshness So, like I said, with smoky eyes, you just kind of keep blending until the color blends in together, obviously, and isn't so harsh. So, you know, some people, when they have like an emerald green smoky eye, they like to put a bronze or like a coppery eyeshadow because the green and the orangey kind of shadow mix together and blend beautifully. But I'm going to be taking more of a ready brown kind of thing this is just boom boom room by mac and it's one of their new dazzle shadows take it on the same g15 brush and i'm gonna pack it on mostly towards the inner corner because it's gonna be like my highlight i guess i don't know i'm just i'm making this up as i go so let's see how oh my god oh my god that's that's gorgeous i'm putting that all over like the lid So I'm just going to put it all over the lid, but I'm focusing it on the inner corner. Holy crap, you guys better go pick up this eyeshadow. Like, oh, I knew it was gorgeous, but like. So like I said, working it more on the inner corner. And maybe you want to do your eyes before you even do your foundation because I'm already having a fallout but we'll fix it they're super shimmery so I kind of want to make this more intense so I'm going to be taking like just a tapered kind of brush and it's a Lilique 4008 crease brush and I'm going to be taking Corrupt by Makeup Geek which is just a true black and I'm going to be focusing it on the outer corner You don't want to take it too harshly into the crease, but you can if you want. I mean, I'm just trying to make this more circle-y. Just pack it on first, and then shape it to however you would like. Okay, seriously, Boom Boom Room by MAC is just... It's gorgeous! Oh my god! In love with this look. Okay, I'm taking my, once again, Morphe E27 brush and I'm just going to blend it all out. And I'm going to be taking Chickadee by Makeup Geek and you'd probably be like, 
what? Like, for most of you know, Chickadee is just an orangey, like, eyeshadow. And I'm gonna lighten up the black because, uh, I want it to be not too dark. So that's why they say apply your blacks and your darker colors lightly because... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, wow girl, I like, I love this look. On to the lower lash line. Before I do that, I'm going to clean up the edges. I don't even have to really, but I want to clean out the fallout, so I'm just going to whoosh. Wipe that across. You don't, you can pat if you want, but that's just going to keep whatever you had. Uh, take your foundation brush. So I'm taking my Morphe M309 and just. So now moving on to my lower lash line. Before I apply my lashes, I'm going to be taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. And it looks like this. And I'm just going to use this as an eyeliner. And it's okay if it's like messy. So now moving on to my lower lash line. I'm going to be taking Envy by Makeup Geek. And just smudging the black eyeliner together. And I'm going to be taking Chickadee and Unexpected and just making this not so harsh. I swear, Chickadee is like one of my favorite eyeshadows because it just, it blends out everything. I'm going to apply my brow bone highlight and I'm just going to be taking White Lies by Makeup Geek of course I'm going to be taking Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek just to add some So I'm going to use my Extended Play Giga Black Lash by MAC. Um, I heard they changed the name and I think now it's called Extended Play Lash, but it's in the same like packaging. Now I'm just going to be taking my, my Coco Lashes and Goddess. They're supposed to be a dupe for the House of Lashes Iconic. However, these are, like, if you guys don't like intense eyelashes, then I wouldn't recommend these to you. The band is super thick, so if you guys aren't into that, then I wouldn't recommend this lash for you. Wow, that was actually pretty good. That applied terrifically. Terrifically, is that even a word? Okay, you see, you guys, these are, like intense. Your eyelash will not even... Makeup Geeks in the Spotlight. It looks like this. Super pretty. And you could just use your Humanly Flesh to apply this. So, I'm just going to apply this on my Morphe M411. So, I hope you guys like this look. 